We start with local news coverage in Shasta County now where a Reading police officer is being investigated after video circulated on social media that the police chief says shows one officer quote forcefully stepping on the head of a suspect and a heads up for you some may find this footage graphic. Oh, the cop kicked him in the face. All right, that arrest video prompting an investigation into the moment you just saw there. Our reporter Anna Montemore sat down with the Reading Police Chief to learn more about the allegations of excessive force. On January 23rd, Reading Police officers responded to a call of a man reportedly trying to break into cars outside a hospice care facility. Two officers responded at first and RPD says the suspect, 39-year-old Kevin Hersey, was uncooperative and appeared to be high on drugs. Police say that the suspect continued to place his hands in his waistband area like he was trying to grab a weapon. That's when the officer tried to de-escalate and called for backup. The police chief says officers deployed a less lethal beanbag round and canine. The struggle continued, caught on camera by a bystander, and with one officer, quote, forcefully stepping on the head of a suspect, according to RPD. This is not the suspect's first run-in with the law. In this video from 2018, he was arrested after police say he assaulted officers when they tried to prevent him from jumping off a bridge into the Sacramento River. He has a history with a lot of law enforcement in Shasta County. In fact, he had been arrested three times in a little over 24 hours. Reading Police Chief Bill Schuler says the officer involved is under investigation for what they believe could be a policy violation. Officials say that Hersey was treated for minor to moderate injuries and was booked into the Shasta County Jail for resisting and obstructing an officer, violence against a peace officer, prowling, vehicle tampering, interfering with a police canine, being intoxicated in a public place, and violating the terms of his post-release community supervision. I will just say that we take any kind of allegations of uh, excessive force or any other misconduct seriously, and we will, we will make sure that they're investigated and respond accordingly. And meanwhile, in the wake of the Reading incident, many are asking why RPD doesn't have body cameras yet. Well, the decision to get police body cameras was previously approved by Reading City Council, and the chief says it's been in the works for some time now, with the trial run starting today. We have a trial of eight cameras going in the field actually tomorrow. It'll be a 90-day trial with one vendor, um, and then we have another 45-day trial with another vendor that'll run simultaneous to that one. So yeah, we July 1 is, is the deadline, but I'm hoping to bring full implementation before that. In the meantime, some residents have planned a police accountability protest at Reading City Hall this Thursday at 6 p.m.